Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Look at the face, still a bit sleepy. I lost some sleep last night to watch a couple of overs of that game. And we ended up losing the game. Yes, we lost the game. Nepal securing victory by four wickets. Yes, four wickets. I'm going to walk you through it, my people. Um, West Indies batted first and we were able to score over 200 runs. But um, unfortunately, we were unable to defend it. So give a listening ear until the end. I am here on the West Indies website and I am going to go through the scorecards for you all. So let me know what you all think. Also, we are asking, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Become a part of the family. Yeah, man. All right. So batting first, the West Indies team scored 204 for five. Or should I say West Indies A team? You know, they say this is an A team. So West Indies A scored 204 for five of the allotted 20 overs. Um, Alec Arthur is and Johnson Charles. They opened the innings. And I was able to see about three three overs out of this before I fell asleep. So I just saw three overs or so. Um, Arthur has made 47 of 25. He had five fours and three sixes to his name. Five fours and three sixes to his name. Um, 47 of um, 25. So, you know, that's a strike rate of 188. Um, Johnson Charles, he was... Not able to trouble the scorecard. He made. He didn't score. He faced two deliveries and was removed without scoring. Andre Fletcher batted at number three, and he actually got run out. He he made thirteen from five, two fours to his name. Um. Well, I, I, actually, it was two sixes. He, he he got two sixes. That's a strike rate of two hundred and sixty. Andre Fletcher there scoring thirteen of five. Unfortunately for him, he got run out. No, it was Captain Raston Chase and um, Casey Carty that came together and stabilized things for us and pushed the score along. Right? These are two guys that usually people would say, you know, they belong in Test cricket or ODI cricket and thing, but you know, they were able to settle down and get some runs real quick. Uh, Raston Chase, he made 74 of 46. Nine fours and two sixes to his name. That's a strike rate of 161. Yes. Nine fours and two sixes. Um, Casey Carty, 38 of 26. Two fours and three sixes. That's a strike rate of 146. So after Arthanes was dismissed, these were the two guys that came together and they pushed the scoring along real quick. You know, usually people would be worried and say, listen, these guys gonna bat at a run at a at a at a run a um a run a ball or even less, but um or even more, but you know, we saw we saw them pushing the score along real fast. Um Kadim Alain, he got a he got an opportunity. He made 14 from 15 and he had um two fours to his name, a strike rate of 93. Unfortunately for him, he was unable to go faster than that. 14 or 15. Kimo Paul, he got a chance to bat, but he only faced two deliveries. He scored one and was left not out there on one. Now, the others um, that made up the plane 11, Obed Mackay, Oshin Thomas, Goodikish Moti, Matthew Ford. So, you know, that is the plane 11 that we used. Arthanes, Charles, Fletcher, Chase, Carty, Alain, Kimo Paul, Obed McCoy, Oshin Thomas, Goodikish Moti, and Matthew Ford. So we were able to score over 200, 204 actually. But unfortunately, the bowlers were unable to prevent the Nepal team from, secure, um, from, from chasing it down. Now, bowling for Nepal, um, Kemal Singh, he picked up one for 53 of his three overs. Um, uh, who else did we, we, we saw? Uh, Dipendra Singh, he got one for 30. And Rohit Podel, he got one for 10. Rohit was actually the one that took us to the cleaners when they were batting. Man scored a century, yes. Scored a century, my viewers and subscribers. As a matter of fact, let me go down tonight right now, you know, um, to, to, to go through their scorecard. So 206 for 6 is where, is where they ended up of 19.4 overs. So they... 
uh, uh, they had two deliveries to spear, right? They, they finished with two deliveries to spear. Um, batting for them, leading the, the way, was the number three batsman, the captain, Rohit. He scored 112 of 54 deliveries. 112 of 54. Nine, um, he got 10 fours and six sixes. 10 fours and six sixes, my viewers and subscribers. Strike rate there of 207. Right? He was supported by Dipendra Singh, who made 24. So the Nepal team, they're chasing it down um, quite comfortably. Now, bowling for the West Indies team, Matthew Ford, four overs, 49 runs, two wickets. Obed Makai, four overs, 34 runs, two wickets. Um, Oshin Thomas, 2.4 overs, 33 runs, no wickets. Um, Rastan Chase, three overs, 20 runs. Gudikish Moti, four overs, 42 runs. And Kimo Paul, two overs, 27 runs, one wicket. So that is what the West Indies team were able to put forward in that game. Um, shout out to Nepal. Shout out to the, um, you know, their captain for getting a century. I mean, you know, when you, when you face up an international team, whether it is an A team or not, you want to try and, 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 and create a good impression. And they are growing in the world of cricket. You know, so let us see how, how the second match will go. But, you know, the West Indies players, um, West Indies A players, they went out there and they gave what they could and came up short. Now, this opening combination um, is what I, well, I had Johnson Charles and Fletcher opening. But I had said that, you know, Alec Arthanes could probably open with one of them. And, you know, luckily we saw Arthanes there getting a, an opportunity and was able to get off to a good start but you know um uh yeah man johnson charles was usually very quick when it went when batting you know he didn't score and as, as as a result of that um you know we, we we didn't we probably didn't get as as many as we could and fletcher you know with the 13 and and, and thing so i just want to thank my viewers and subscribers settling down there in nepal losing the first game we just got to um, see how things going on. Um, I don't know if we're going to play the same, the same team or we're going to give somebody else an opportunity. You know, we, lose, we lost the game, but I am assuming there are things that the coaches will be looking for. They were sent with instructions from Darren Sami to um, give certain people a certain amount of game, make sure that they get a certain amount of overs, you know, make sure certain people bat early so they can, you know, get a look at them. But when all is said and done, international team definitely needs to be winning and i am saying international team because quite a few these these guys are established players right um i mean kadim alain just getting an opportunity but um everybody else on the team here they are established they are established players you understand all of these guys here they are they are established um t20 odi and a couple of them test cricketers so you know you still expect them to give a good account of themselves but that is where we leave it. I don't know if there's anybody in the comment section that saw the game in its entirety that want to give us um, a breakdown of how things went. Different from the scoring, you know? Give us some context in terms of how the runs were scored, how the wickets were taken. But we'll leave it right there for now. Also, later on this evening, we will go live. Live, 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 live. So we are going to be live at 7 uh, p.m. my time. That's going to be 6 p.m. Jamaica time. Big up.